Welcome back to another video, and before that, I will go grab this. Feel free to message me anything, whatever you want. Links are in the description down below. With that out of the way. And the previous two videos, part one, at the end I said I hated that video, part two came out, I was feeling a little bit better, and then today I feel a little bit more better. Yes, we go through these ups and downs, our energy changes, we get down in the dumps, we have to recover from it, keep pushing forward, and that's kind of what I've been doing all my life. Pushing through the pain, push through the drama, push through the negative thoughts that are in the back of my mind. Yeah, they'll still there. I drown them out and ignore them as as I can and uh, until they just explode and then I I wrote them down finally uh, a person did tell me that I was writing over the pain glossing over no I do not gloss over anything I do acknowledge the the pain the the trauma whatever you want to call it and I push through. If life was easy, everyone would be doing it. My path is rather difficult for a reason. If it was hard, I need to do it. If it is easy, I do not need to be doing it. Meaning, I took the high road, I am climbing that mountain, or diving into the depths of the oceans, meaning hard path to take. Not the easy way out. I take the hard way out. And yeah, I'm still recovering from the depression, but it is what it is. You, you push through. You have to refine your light. No one can do that but yourself. But it actually does help if someone is communicating to you rather than just listening. But even then, listening can also do good. But for me, I require two things from a person. Communication and listening. But, but, here's the thing. I was going through... An old download folder, something just told me, hey, look into this old download folder so you can upload more images to Instagram. And when I was doing that, I found two, maybe three photos that correspond to what the heck I've been feeling and put that into words. So I will now go to Instagram and get them. So we have photo one, spiritual relationship. One of the changes you may be feeling is that you want to be with people who see you. The real you, all of you, those who get your fullness. A fullness, it's just all of your soul. The dark, the light, gray, black, blue, red, yellow, anything, everything. It's no longer about painting with people you know just because you know them or have been in their lives for years. It is now being with those who understand all of your levers and dimensions, they see your journey with deeper eyes. So what that basically 
means is that photo two, people fall out of your life as your frequency rises, as your vibration goes from 3D to 5D, you will lose people as you ascend. Let these people go who do not level with you and fall out of your life. Let them go. This is part of your frequency rising. There is no shame in this. There is no guilt. Photo 3. I surround myself with people I find in intelligently stimulating, spiritual stimulating, light stimulating rather than you're not, um, you're not there. Like, um, I'm not really vibing with you. You're not really adding anything to the conversation or to me. So you're just there to be there, like a stone in the water. Meaning, a 3D person and I cannot get along. I've tried this before. What happened? Arguments happened, and then I found out the guy was fake. Completely, utterly fake, and he kind of just lied to me about how he was Bilzo, how he wanted me to teach him. Completely was fake, because I, I mentioned the word spirit, or about my new YouTube uh, channel, and he's like, not my thing, and I'm like, so you lied to me about wanting me to teach you, here's your opportunity, and you're like, not my thing? Okay, I can't really be with a person who does that. Why would I? You're not on my level. You can't see me for my soul. You can't see all of me. You can't see my higher perspective. You can't understand me. You can't relate to me. Why would I be with you? So I removed him from my life. Mm, don't really need... Well, this photo, photo four, is about being authentic. Be your real self. Um... Well, photo five, if you commit to your intentions by taking aligned actions, you will likely end up where you want to go. What that literally just means is you're on a path, you have to make decisions to align with your goal. For me, it was being a light worker. What did I need to do? First, find the light, find your voice. Then figure out how to speak to the people to get it out though. So for me, it's making videos, posting, photo text, memes. Uh, I don't really call them memes because it's just text on a photo. Not really in, yeah, not really a meme, but nee. So it also means... Photo six, step into the fire of self-discovery. This fire will not burn you. It will only burn what you are not. Been there, done that my whole life. It was hard. Very hard. Then we hit photo seven. Once you begin to understand that Earth is literally a masterclass for soul evolution, things become way more easier and clever. Once I figured that out, boom, everything makes way more sense now. Everything's a clever picture. You can see the bigger picture. Everything makes more sense once you realize that. And that's all the photos that I uploaded to Instagram that was helping me to explain what I have been feeling for for years or recent, a, a cycle that repeats, in other words, and it says, you realize that you're depressed because 
A, you're either, you have no one to talk to, no one who understands you, or no one who relates to you. Or it's mainly because, or option two, you could be depressed because it's freezing outside and you're trapped in this house and because you want to stay warm if you hate the freezing cold. For me, I don't do well in winter. Not my favorite season. I prefer spring over winter because I prefer warm months rather than steaming hot like a desert. Not my thing. I prefer warmer temperatures, but not to the point where I am smothering. Hate the cold, hate the hot, metal person. But that also goes to the science thing of... If you do not get enough sunlight, you will be depressed from that. Or you have surrounded yourself with toxic people and that drama is now affecting you to the point where God get me out of here and you're not happy. So it can be a lot of different things making you depressed. But for me, it says it comes and goes, don't be... Really, I don't really know why it happens, uh, why it happened this time, no idea. Just recovering from an energy shift from earlier, I suppose, because I was having a hard time sleeping for like three different days. Finally solved that problem. I mean, it went away on its own and I am sleeping normally again. Uh, so it just means my body is recovering. Or it's because I now know that I have to forget about the big YouTube people stats versus my invisible channel who only has three people who communicate to me rather than having ten people communicate to you. Forget the big numbers, stick to the small ones. Yes, it's kicking me in the butt, but... Again, hard path. You have to do it somehow. Hard pill to swallow because it's part of pride, part of passion, part of enjoyment. All those three wrapped into one. Why else am I doing this? Because it's my passion. I need to do this. And yeah, so it... It just varies on the circumstances. It could mean anything, really. Uh, or it could just simply mean something as so simple as you hit an energy shift, your body needs to recharge. It needs to recover, and your body knows what to do. Could be that, could be astrology, could be the lack of involvement, the lack of passion could be doing this. Who knows? Um, but you have to figure out how to find your light again and go from there. But for me, that's always been a struggle. It's like I always needed a, a push into the right direction from someone. But I've never had that before. Does not exist in my life. Sure, I've heard of it, seen it, but for me, I've never really experienced it um for for instance i i talked to this one person about something but instead of saying what i needed to be heard he said something that got under my skin instead and he vibed on a 3d lower 40 vibe is saying rather than a higher enlightenment saying and that kind of just got under my skin basically what i was trying to convey to him is hey i need encouragement or something on those lines and he just didn't really give that instead oh if you want to do it do it and i'm like could you be a little bit more of the light than just gray? I mean, 
Come on. Yeah, you've said that before. It didn't really bother me, but that time it did. Did is it because I wanted to heal something and didn't want it? I mean, I uh you only heal what you want to heal? Is it from that? No, it's how he said it which got under my skin. He basically just gave me that one sentence of if you want to do it, do it. And I'm like, could you be a little less sensitive? Yeah, I know. I, I got in a huge argument with that sentence alone with this demon. I can't even remember what the argument was about other than, oh, so you only, you're controlling what I want to say to you because you want to heal what you want to heal, and I'm like, that's not it. Yeah, I know you won't sugarcoat things, but there is a way to say things sensitively while still not sugarcoating things, meaning, I don't know how else to explain that. Um, he basically said something that offended me because of the way he said it, and I'm like, could you be less sensitive? And he's like, oh, so you're trying to control what I say because you want me to say what you want to hear. He didn't say that last part. He just said, oh, so you're trying to control what I say. And I'm like, no, I'm not trying to control anything. And it started a huge argument over something so stupid. But this time I, I didn't say anything to... The person, I just kind of let it slide because, yeah, do what you want to do. Perfectly normal, but at the time, it's like, could you give me a little bit something extra? Like, what you would do with your wife, for instance, as he's crying about uh, something and, you know, you walk up to her, sit down next to her, you hold her in that moment. And you just help heal her in that moment like that. Uh, what was the word? Uh, I don't know. It's a kind of just what entered my mind, but I can't think of the freaking word on how to explain that other than you hold her as she tells you something that is bothering her. Do you just tell her off and say, oh, do what you want to do? Or you reassure her? That's the word that I was looking for earlier. So I go to him thinking he would reassure me. He doesn't really do that. Just says, do what you want to do. And I'm like, really? I was looking for reassurement and encouragement. And all you give me is this one sentence. And then if I said this to my demon friend, who was now my ex-friend, it started a huge argument about how... I was trying to control him on what he was trying to say, and I'm like, that's not what I wanted. Do you not know the word reassurement, reassuring, encouragement? Apparently not. No one knows how to convey that, I suppose, and, uh, right, yeah, uh, basically I never had either of those words conveyed to me. Uh, it's just the, the cold stance of, if you want to do it, do it. And I'm like, I need something more than that. Be more light, not gray. But it's like, no one gets that. Uh, maybe it's of being a woman, because women are more sensitive than men. I don't know. Maybe it's a guy thing. Maybe it's a girl thing. I don't know. Then again, I'm not... I don't consider myself human, mortal. I see myself as a being of light, so 3D sheeple nonsense is just dumb to me. Doesn't make sense, uh, it's one of those things where I question it, and then it kind of hits me later, like, oh, you were looking for two words, encouragement and reassurance. But you're not receiving either of those. Is it because you're a girl and no one understands that? Or you're not 
been clear enough to the point where they do see that is what you need. Is it because you're not being clear? Is it because they don't know? Is it because they don't understand that? Is it because they can't understand what you are feeling? So many questions, and yet, I don't know. One of those things. Um... I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it, it makes you wonder. Then again, I've been alone on for years. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I never did receive via certain or encouragement because life put me here to learn that on my own, which is a very hard when you lack the confidence. It's just as a cycle repeating. You lose it, you gain it, you lose it, you gain it back. But for me, it's it's more than that. You're looking for a person who shares the same passion who will then work with you, not against you, or behind the scenes. Meaning, not on camera with me, not on audio with me, but behind the scenes. Everyone I've met, too shy, won't do it. Even though you're behind the scenes, like an audio guy could edit the audio, or another guy could be the, vid the video editing guy who would add special effects or something, like from Adobe Photoshop or... Adobe After Effects, that's the one, After Effects, uh, meaning, again, special effects, or those, a guy that could write things down to suggest to me to do, to talk about, meaning, again, uh, this, questions, comments, thoughts, anything, everything. There could be that guy, uh. Instead of just meaning, you have a team working with you to get your idea across, but no one is into that idea and everyone is too shy or they don't have the tools or they don't have the time, mainly because they are too shy, even though they are behind the scenes. I did have one person who I thought would be able to help me write new Topics that I could not do myself because it's not in my wheelhouse. It was his thoughts that I wanted to write down, but we split apart and never spoke to each other again. And he also didn't really want to do that anyways because reasons he never really said, but I got the feeling that he doesn't really want to work with me. Even though I've mentioned this before to him, never happened. Even though he would be, be behind the scenes. Background guy. I mean, yeah, behind the scenes, but... I don't know. Will I find someone? Maybe one day, but probably never, because everyone is too shy. I don't know, um, but that's just my thoughts right now on what's been going on in the back of my head subconsciously and every everything really that's been on my mind off and on until we meet again.